In this video, we're going to focus on drawing a Pac-Man shape in the canvas. And this is part 18 of the Canvas API for JavaScript tutorial. So we're going to scroll down here and a Pac-Man shape might look quite hard, but once you know how, it's quite easy. And we're going to use a trick that makes it very easy for us. So the first thing what I want to do here is of course to define where we want it. Well, let's say we want it somewhere. Uh, we can make a big shape. So in this case, what I will do is let's put it from the from left side, we need to go 350 pixels. And then from the top, we should go maybe 300 pixels it's somewhere here in the center, or at least that is the circle or the radius point where we're going to start drawing the Pac-Man shape. So let's start to do that. So first of all, we're going to say here, of course, ctx.begin path. And we already have here all the items so I will maintain this. And then what I want to do here is uh, well, do this. And then of course we have here ctx.stroke style. And just for the uh, for this item, because it's a Pac-Man, we can just use the color yellow. So yellow color. And I use this as a constant. I have it here. So the next thing what I need to do here is a ctx.line width. And this line width will be three pixels. Finally, now we need to draw basically our arc. So what is very important, if you have a Pac-Man shape, we're not drawing a full circle. So we need to really consider uh, for the mouth, where do we open it or where do we start with the drawing and where would we end? So in this case, we could say here, as instead of zero or 360 or the starting point, which is zero, we could say we would like to go maybe 30 degrees down. And then we're going to make full circle and then here we will be at 360 minus 30 degrees, so 330 up. So then we'll have here eventually this triangle shape. And let's draw it, it will probably be easier to understand. So then you have the triangle shape on the mouth that is open. So the first thing what we need to do here then is of course ctx.arc. And you should know already these terms here what I'm using. And if you're wondering what they are, I refer you back to one of, to my arc video that explains it nicely. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say 350 by 300. That was the position where we want to start. And then we're going to say here, well, a radius. Well, let's make it bigger. Let's make this 100. We can say here, we can do here 100 or we can just say radius. Doesn't matter. I guess this is maybe slightly redundant now. Anyway, I'll just put in 100. So, and then next here is the, uh, what we call the starting angle. So, in this case, I want to say angle multiplied by 30 degrees. So from zero plus 30 degrees, that is a starting point. And comma, our ending angle will be angle multiplied by, well, how do we calculate that? Well, if a full circle is 360 minus 30 would mean 330 is eventually the upper part that I want. Why? I want to have 60 degrees both well, in total. So I mean 30 degrees down and 30 degrees up as in space. Once I did this, I'm going to say here, false. We don't need to have counterclockwise. And finally, once we did this, we can do here just for the sake of it, ctx.stroke to draw the item. Save that, refresh. There we are, and that looks quite nice. So now we have this triangle shape here that we need to make. And this one can be slightly tricky because you might wonder, okay, how do we get it from here to there and then back here? How do we calculate this? So I have good news. We will use a very simple trick here. We don't even have to calculate what is this position. All we have to do here is to say ctx dot line two, and this line two will be going where exactly? Well, we want to go make this line go here. And remember, this is what we call the radius. So how do we calculate this? Well, we don't have to calculate. This is the arc already. This point is already the official starting point. But if you would like to calculate, remember, this point here and the radius was always in our case was 100 that's the radius we have set that so that will mean this point plus 100 will be your top this point plus 100 will be here this point plus 100 will be here so that's basically it so if you would like to calculate this we have to calculate what is the x and y but in this case this is it so no need to calculate anything here once we did this save and here all right so now comes the tricky point how do we calculate this one? You might say, all right, I need to get from here 100. And how many angles do we need to go down? This is too complicated. No need to do that. Why? 
we can use a specific command which is ctx.close path and that will eventually just close whatever is left open and it will assume a straight line by that and there we are so now we have this nice pac-man uh, item and we could even fill up so for example we want to give this maybe a uh, color inside what we could do here is the following i'm going to copy this the stroke style is this but we want to have the fill style would be maybe red and then finally here i'm going to say here we will say ctx dot fill save that and there we are now it works perfectly and we have this filled up form or pac-man in red and with a yellow line and that's basically how you create a pac-man shape